So I wanted to go on a solo camping trip this weekend, but the wife is gone. I haven't had this opportunity in a while and I need to get a lot of projects done. One of them is on the truck and I think it's kind of important to get this done before I go out solo. There's still a ton of snow out in the mountains. So um, yeah, I wanna get this winch installed. So what I got behind me is a Smittybilt X2O or X20 winch. And this is a 10,000 pound winch. It was on sale, so I picked that up. I did pay for this. Nobody's paying me for this video. But the big thing is, is what's in this box and that's what carries the winch. This is a winch carrier specifically for the Nissan Frontier. I decided against a bumper because I don't want all that extra weight and this is kind of a hidden behind the bumper type of carrier. This is a carrier by Wham Bumpers. Kind of excited to do this work on the truck and mainly because I ordered this only five days ago and it's already at my house. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and I haven't opened either of these boxes. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, I haven't opened this yet. As you can see, still taped up. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this thing already, but I have not. And I've never installed a winch before. So this is the Smittybilt X20, 10,000 pound waterproof. Comes with the wireless remote, synthetic rope. This is the V2 because they have a V3 now, but uh, this one was on sale. So yeah, whoop. All right, what do we got? We have a manual claims technical support. There is a handheld remote out in, oh, that's interesting. This is both because you can change the wired to wireless mode. And there's even a light on it already, so it must have batteries already. So, a uh, cable in case you need it. The shackle, uh, not shackle, but the connector. I don't know. You can hang this off the front of your truck. There's hardware and some more hardware, negative cable. Again, I've never seen this before, so there we go. All right. So we got our synthetic cable. And I'll have to check this out and make sure it's in good shape. The, you know, connector deal. There is a notice here that says rope is not covered under manufacturer warranty. Normal wear and tear item. Inspect rope before use during the mandatory pre-stretching. Any defects must be noticed before installation, initial use and proper use and adequate fair lead to bumper clearances, abuse, neglect, chafing damage are not covered. So there you go. Control box here. On, wireless. Oh, this turns the wireless on and off. Hmm. All right. Definitely gonna have to read the instructions. Here is a fair lead that comes with it. It is silver. And then the winch itself. Oh my goodness. All right. God, that's heavier than I thought. So, ugh. that's the X20 winch. So there are a ton 
of peanuts in this box. There's no like hard foam or anything. Um, you can see the shackle mounts, shackle mount just sticking out of the peanuts there. So there is a manila envelope that says instructions and hardware. Looks like it's got hardware for the skid plate and everything, so that's good. There's some hardware in the box. In the envelope, I mean. Alright, so there are tons of peanuts, packing peanuts, and this is gonna make a huge mess, so I'm gonna do this in the driveway. <laughs> it's a little breezy outside, so I'm gonna do this in the garage. I don't want these peanuts to go everywhere, so let's get this guy out of the box. There's a couple of brackets in here. I'm assuming to attach this to the frame. We'll have to look at the instructions here in a little bit to see what these are all about, but looks very nicely cut. I'm not going to uh, say anything about the quality of the welds because I have no idea how to weld. So I'm gonna let you be the judge. So, there's some shackle mounts here. All right, so these are what connect to the frame right here. So you can see the bracing and the welding here and here. And then there's a big weld here and inside here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get it in the sun. So weld here. The looks like the front. Looks like the front of the unit is all bent. And then again the shackles. I don't know can see that the shackles are welded or shackle mounts are welded here then underneath this is the bottom of the unit Ugh. so this is underneath I don't know if you can see the welds there again I am not going to German quality welds because I have no idea. I picked up some Rust-Oleum primer filler and then I got some bed liner as well, also made by Rust-Oleum. I commandeered my wife's uh, bathtub and I washed these down with some degreaser. Coming from Wham Bumpers, these were pretty greasy, pretty gross, so um, I washed them off so the primer would hold and then we can bed line these things. So I'm going to go ahead and start priming the top area here and I've got a heater in the garage since it's pretty cold outside so we want to keep a nice uh, you know 60 degree temperature ish in here so that the um, the primer will set up so I'm gonna go ahead and get started All right, guys, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have to flip it here in a little bit once it dries a little. So, yeah, once this dries off, then we'll uh, flip it over and, and get the other side. I finally did finish the bed lining on the winch carrier. Um, I think I did like four coats of bed liner 
on there and it's just the spray rust-oleum stuff. I think I've showed you guys this already but um, we need to remove the grill and I've taken it off before to plasti dip it so I have this kit that has these plastic panel removers and that makes uh, getting these clips off much easier. So yeah, down at the bottom of the grill there's just some clips holding it in. go pretty easy so the front here has two different fascias on the front mine has the color matched you know painted bumper cover and then the there's another version that has the chrome bumper and it's actually two pieces so this is all one piece the chrome bumper is two pieces the uh, chrome bumper has a separate piece that goes across here and then it's chrome on the bottom. Uh, so the removal process is probably going to be a little bit different. In the wheel well liner, there's some screws that I need to take off. So I'm going to do that real quick. So up in the wheel well, there's some screws holding the liner in here. And then you'll see where the bumper connects at this seam right here. And right in there, there's some nuts or screws that are holding this to this. So we need to get those removed. I guess I should probably say don't forget to disconnect your fog lights because it'll hold it from the wire. Okay, got the bumper off. So we need to take off the factory crash bar here to get our new one in and looks like we also need to take off the skid plate so there's just some bolts to take off these existing skid plates are pretty pretty chintzy there's a hit a rock it's going right through these things Alright guys, it's now time for instructions. Remove bumper, remove skid plate, install winch carrier on the mounts for the cross member with the factory 12 millimeter bolts. You should probably organize where you put all your bolts because I got that little parts holder and I didn't put everything in there. I put the other factory bolts in the case for the socket set, which makes a lot of sense. Let me show you what I have to do over here. So in the frame, there's some nuts that are welded to the back. So I had to cut this one off because it cross threaded so bad and then do a uh, nylon lock nut and a new bolt, which, you know, that works. So now there are two pieces here. Um, so there's one on this side and one on the other that connect the new winch carrier to the underside of the frame, which gives you your, your pull strength. So go ahead and do that. Now the other issue is 
I still don't have enough bolts. <laughs> oh my god. I'll have to check the other side, but these two I have because that's what the truck came with because of the, uh, the tow hook, but I might have to go buy more again because they didn't provide it. Supplied 12 millimeter and half inch bolts, and they only gave me the half inch. I already had to have them send me the nut pack for the skid plate, and they never sent me the 12 millimeter bolts that go underneath the here, even though it says it's supplied. So, um, luckily I did pick some up already, so hopefully they'll work on the other side. And then this side, um, I had the tow hook here already, so I'm using the factory ones there. But, uh, yeah, it, it's not been a great experience so far. They need to work on their Packaging, I guess, because I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. And the fitment's not great. I guess every truck's probably a little different, but... Which, the cross-threading, I guess, could have been avoided on my part, but... Um, as far as the hardware supplying, it's not great. All right guys, we got everything bolted up. Even though it's been quite the process, um, you know, I guess it could have been worse. So I'll have to try to get the, uh, the winch in there, but I might have to drop this thing again <laughs> uh, to get the winch in there because there's these um, little mounting things there for the bumper. So I guess let's give it a try. Yeah, I think this is all gonna be in the way. Guess I should have mounted that up. Well, luckily I know I have all the parts now, so um, I guess I'll get everything taken back apart and drop this so I can get the, the winch in there. Okay guys, I got the winch in, so make sure you I haven't bolted it down yet, but make sure you get the winch in there, uh, yeah, before you mount the bracket up if you're, if you're doing this. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach the winch with the hardware. I know you can't really see, but there's some square nuts and they fit in the, basically the mounting points of the winch itself. What did I just... Oh my god. They do make the mounting process pretty easy. There we go. Might have to put the fair lead on first. So I guess do this in order. Fair lead first then the winch, then mount this to the truck. Okay, I got the fair lead in. Finally, I just need to get the winch itself mounted and some of my square nuts came out. This definitely makes it a little more difficult to see anything. Now that the winch is in, I can figure out how I'm gonna do the wiring from the winch to the battery. So I'm gonna figure that out here and then uh, we'll be back. All right guys, so I got, I took this retainer piece off here that holds the cables and stuff so I can get the box mounted a little easier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the box mounted, the control box on the side here and then I'll put that piece back on 
because um, it won't fit right in the middle. Okay, guys, this has been a giant pain. So, definitely, if you're doing this to a Frontier, take off this retaining piece. It'll make working on everything here way easier. And you should probably just mount this box beforehand, but uh, yeah. Basically, I stripped one of these bolts on the bottom, but now I got that in there and I can get the control box mounted over to the side and it comes with these extra mounting brackets here and then it'll screw over the motor and uh, it'll screw on over the motor. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get that done if you need a really long screwdriver for this which I really hope I have. Okay guys, I finally got this mounted in here. This has been more difficult, I think, than putting a lift on the truck, honestly. So I do need to get the uh, battery cables up and into the uh, engine compartment, which should be pretty uh, simple here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. It's, uh, I can just route them right around this corner here, so that should be pretty easy. All right, guys, I was able to get the cables around this area here. So it just goes right into the engine bay right there. So next up is the fun part, and that is trimming a bunch of plastic to be able to fit, so like these, um, there's some little pieces of plastic that need to be trimmed so it fits. And then I need to mount the uh, retainer piece back in up here above the winch. So yeah, so I'll go ahead and get some of these plastic pieces trimmed so they fit better. And then get that retainer piece back in. And then once that is done, we can go about trimming the bumper to fit around all of this, which is going to probably take a bit of time and actually I still need to I still need to remount the radiator skid plate so I'll get that done as well. I can't even tell you guys how frustrating this thing is. I understand that some stuff is going to not fit because of how each truck is made, but pretty much nothing has gone right. So there holes so wham uh, the holes they use for mounting this to the frame they don't line up they didn't provide all the bolts i emailed them they did send me this pack of little teeny ones which was utterly useless because the skid plate on the bottom it says to mount it to the original holes and mount it to their uh, piece underneath here and that didn't line up at all so I ended up having to drill holes in my skid plate to make it fit, which, you know, again, I understand sometimes you have to change stuff, but <laughs> this thing has been a disaster. I mean, it looks awesome and I got there, but man, their instructions don't cover it very well. I mean, it says just bolt it right up and you can't because it doesn't fit right. Uh, you do have to, you know, fabricate a little bit. I mean, I understand like the winch uh, control box and I've had to change some of this stuff, which is fine because that's, you know, the nature of putting a winch on the front of your truck. But the thing itself that they measured out to fit this thing didn't fit right. So I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the bumper back on. I will have to trim, you know, to get this all to fit underneath of there. So... I'll bring the bumper over and get it kind of dry fit so I can mark out where I need to cut the plastic. So on to the next thing. So I've got a dry fit here. I've looked at pictures online and it looks like I'm gonna have to cut basically all the way across here. I'm gonna try to make straight of cuts as I can. And um, yeah. Okay guys, I've had some fun. Getting this uh, trimmed up and it's kind of a pain, honestly. Um, 
but I was able to get it. I think I'm gonna clean this up here once I get this all attached. Okay guys, it's finally looking a lot better here. I got it all clipped in, screwed in in the wheel wells. I do need to attach um, down at the skid plate and then I was able to sand this a little bit. It looks not too bad. Okay, we got our battery here. And if you've watched my previous video, I put these new battery terminals in. All right, guys, let's get the truck fired up. Make sure it works. I got this Smitty Built winching kit and it came with some shackles. So, you can hook them up here. Just like that. Somebody can tell me uh, what to do. Like, am I supposed to leave? this cover on, I'm assuming so, and then maybe put the uh, shackle around it, like so. I don't know if that's the... Oh my god! You've got to be kidding me! This hole is tapered, so I can't even get the shackle through. Oh my god, this is awful. You know what? Don't don't buy this unless you want to play and dick around with it. I guess this whole experience has been terrible. And somehow I need to ream out steel. I I don't know what to say, guys. This uh, This whole experience has not been fantastic, but uh, you know what? It's in, and I guess, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It looks cool, I guess. Let's go ahead and get the grill back in. and Finish this up. Easy peasy. Okay guys, let's uh... Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I have this Fairlead license plate holder that I totally forgot to install and now I'm gonna have to take literally everything apart to put this on. I hate my life. In Colorado, we have to have a front license plate and it cannot be in the window. So this has got a mount behind there. And then the license plate gets attached like so. Now we've got to take it all apart.
Well, the conclusion here is that putting this thing on here is awful. Um, most of the bolts don't fit right. They don't send the right bolts. The holes for the shackles, uh, at least this side, was not uh, drilled out all the way. I think it looks really nice with the stock bumper, but I think in the future, or I think I would recommend maybe just a whole bumper because that may have been easier than this whole process. But um, otherwise, I think I think it looks really good, and hopefully, you know, it, it, everything works out here. If you guys have any questions or anything, just leave them down in the comments below. I still need to go out and give it a test and I need to properly spool up the wire here. You have to do it under tension so I need to get it out on the trail and hook it around a tree and, and get it all spooled up properly. But This is an AEV license plate holder for the fair lead and that bolts on right behind the fair lead there and basically it kind of has these easy twist bolts. I don't know if you can see those, but um, yeah, you just screw those on there like so. And of course your license plate will go on here, but your license plate will be able to mount there and then it's easy to take off, put in the truck when you need to use the winch. So um, I also maybe recommend getting the winch mount powder coated because all the bed liner basically has chipped off on all the corners already so I might have to come back and and touch that up a little bit but other than that I think it looks really good and you know it took me all day I started maybe around 11 o'clock and it's 6 p.m. now so you know take that as you will other than that guys if you have any questions um, or anything leave them down in the comments below thanks for watching please hit like hit subscribe share the video it really helps out the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one